Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're actually going to look at bindings so we're going to explore what a binding is and why they're important to use when you want to actually connect data and pass data between two different views so let's get straight into the video. So a binding is a two-way connection between two objects it allows us to read and write to a source of truth which is non normally somewhere higher up in the chain such as a parent view so why is this important? Well, if we want our child views to read data and update the source of truth, we want to make sure that it's only editing this one. And this keeps it consistent between views. Now, I talk about this more in breaking down SwiftUI state and data flow and using at state in SwiftUI. So we can use bindings by using the at binding property wrapper that helps us store data from our source of truth where we can read and write. It's also worth noting that our bindings will cause any views that access it to render new changes and update that views local UI state. So in this example, we're going to look at creating a loading view that reacts to a button. So first of all, let's create a button and add this to the screen. So let's just break down what we've got here. So we've got our state here. So this is our content view source of truth. So this is the is loading property. So we're going to hold our values here and we've marked it private so that no views outside the content view can access this source of truth. So we've made it a Boolean because we want it to either have a true or false value for what we're about to do next. And within our button, we're using the toggle function to toggle the value within is loading. And within our text, depending on the value that we read from our source of truth, we're going to change the text. So if it is loading, we're going to say stop. And if it isn't, we're going to say start. Whenever our is loading changes, this will cause our text strings to also update and change as well. So what we actually want to do is we want to create a child view that actually toggles between showing us some text and also showing us a progress view. So what we're going to do is create a brand new switch UI view. And this time we'll call it custom loading view. So let's do that now. So you can do this by either A, create going to file new and then file or alternatively you could hit command n on your keyboard and finally if you wanted to you could also just hit on the project folder here and then choose new file so i'm just going to do it from here because i'm already there now and then we want to make sure that we choose swift ui view hit next and then we're going to call the swift ui view custom loading view And then you'll notice that this automatically generates a new view for us that we can see on the screen. So within our custom loading view, let's actually add a binding property for this view because this is going to be our child view that we're going to use within our parent view content view. So in order to do that, all we need to do at the top is just type out the following. So a few things to note when you're working with the binding property wrapper is that you'll notice that we've actually not made this private. So this is important because this is our child view. So our child view needs access to the source of truth. So we don't actually want to hide this property off specifically within this view. We actually want to use this as a connection between our content view and this custom loading view. And you'll also notice as well that our SwiftUI preview has an error. So it's complaining because it's actually expecting a binding within the initializer since this is a struct. So remember, well, if you're not aware of this, structs actually automatically generate their own custom um, initializer. So because of this, this is actually expecting you to set this value. So how can we fix this? Well, with bindings, we can actually give them constant values by giving it some kind of default value. So within our preview, let's actually create two custom loading views and we'll set two different constants so we can actually see the difference between um, the true and false for this view. So just to make my life easier, I'm going to select this here, which will allow me to create another custom loading view automatically. And then we're going to just hit fix. And then within here, I'm going to type dot constant value true. And then for the next one, I'm just going to type the opposite, which is false. And then if we just build that, this should now fix our errors. So you're actually not seeing a difference on the screen here. And at the moment, both of these custom loading views are actually going to look the exact same. And that's because we've not actually used our binding yet to do um, anything. So let's actually do that now. So within our 
custom loading view we're going to actually switch between two different views depending on whether it is loading is true or false so let's do that now so here we're switching between the views that we show on the screen depending on whether our is loading property will get from our parent view is true or false you'll also be able to see in the preview as well that we've actually got two different possible states for our view. So you can see here, whenever the constant is set to true, you'll see our progress view. And when it's set to false, you'll see that we have our text here that says finish loading. So let's actually see how we can actually add this to our parent view. So let's go back to our content view. And in order to actually see this, we're going to put our button within a V stack. So let's do that now. So you just hold down command and then click on button. You'll see an option to embed in V stack. And then I'm just going to clean this up using control A and then control I. And then on top of our button, let's just add our view. So you can now see that we actually have our custom loading view within our V stack. And you'll notice that where we set up our child view, we now have to use the dollar sign because we actually want to access this states properties projected value so we actually want to turn this into a binding and we can turn a state property into a binding by adding the dollar sign before it this allows us to actually read the value as well as write from it as well so what we're going to do is we're going to now run this or it's actually running in our preview and if you actually hit start loading you'll notice that because this is now true we show our progress view and if you actually hit stop loading you'll notice that it actually changes the value to um false and now shows our finished loading so this here is how you can actually connect data between two different views and how you can actually pass data between views as well so it's really it's really impressive and really easy and simple to do this in swift ui so that's everything in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really love to hear your section below. Also, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up by giving the video a like. And if you haven't already, then you can actually subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscription button and hitting the notification bell so you can actually get the updates whenever I release a brand new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.